Hey techies, welcome back to Tech Qualities. Today we are going to be replacing an LCD and bezel for a Latitude 5430. Thanks for joining us today. Please like and subscribe if you find this helpful. We're adding new videos daily. All right, here's the new LCD we're going to be replacing. These uh, LCDs are fully removable from the back panel. That's why they include the bezel with it. I um, have to apologize up front here. I had my camera mispositioned here, so I'm not getting the top edge, but usually use my pry tool to grab a top left or right corner of the bezel and just rip it off. Uh, you don't have to go easy on it since you got a replacement. Grab my fingers and peel the adhesive away on the bottom edge there. And the whole thing should just come up, uh, hinge covers and all. All right, there's going to be two screws at the bottom on each side, one on the left, one on the right. You're going to remove those. Those are holding the LCD intact there. On the top edge, what you can't see, and I apologize for that, um, you've got these little clips that go under a little sleeve at the top of your LCD back cover. So those uh, clips kind of go into the top. So in order to get those out, I pull the bottom edge out and I let the LCD drop an eighth of an inch or so. And then that top edge will come swinging down. All right, once we get the back of the LCD exposed, we're gonna peel this adhesive back off of your EDP cable connection. There's two layers. You get the top layer here, and then there's a second layer of tape. Once you get these peeled back, you'll flip up your little bracket and pull backwards on that connector, and out comes your LCD. Bring in the new LCD and go in reverse motion here. You're going to reconnect, reapply your adhesive tape. And once again, you got to get those upper clips. Uh, Kind of see it at the top edge there you've got a little edge that needs to go into that top sleeve once you get them up in there and your bottom holes are aligned you can reapply those two screws at the bottom left and right Usually at this phase before, you can see I'm pointing out now what I didn't have before, those two, <laughs> those things go in place there. Before I, uh, before I apply the bezel, I usually give it a power button push, make sure that I can see the Dell logo. Make sure that the LCD is uh, properly displaying, displaying an image and that looks good. So I know that I've got the connector in good, now I'll go ahead and remove all the adhesive protective plastic and everything off of the new bezel. These blue strips expose some new adhesive. So your bezels always go on with clips as well as this adhesive. It kind of helps hold it in place. And here's the shutter piece. Make, don't forget that. You want to get that in place before you install the bezel. I put it in place here where it goes and make sure it slides back and forth, which is your shutter that opens and closes your camera. Once that's in place, I'm going to carefully put the bezel in place. I bring the LCD straight up and down. It helps these um, hinge covers to go in place. You want it to drop enough and then make sure your top left and right corners are positioned correctly. Once they're in, I can start applying pressure all the way across and you'll hear it just clicking into place. When I apply the bottom part, I support the back of the LCD so that I don't bend it. Now I'm going to take a plastic spudger tool, something that won't scratch the plastic paneling. I'm going to use it to, you can see there's a little gap on the hinge covers. So I kind of pull those down to clip them in place. 
snap. And then I lift up and I put the flat edge of my spudger in and I apply pressure along the bottom part of the bezel and that'll engage the clips along the bottom edge. And that's it. Got a new LCD in. Then I power it on, make sure again it's working and we're done. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe. Love having you with us and we'll be adding more videos shortly. Thank you so much.